So we shall now begin with a black aeroplane that is a continuation of two stories about flying. We have already finished this first flight. Now it's a black aeroplane. So here you will see how the author escaped from a very turbulent flight which he was flying all by himself. So I, let us begin with the class, the black aeroplane. The moon was coming up in the east behind me and stars were shining in the clear sky above me. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. When he took the flight, it was a very good weather. There was no black clouds in the sky. It was a clear sky. So I was happy to be alone high above the sleeping countryside. He was flying and he was very happy because the water, weather was so favorable. The weather was so good and it was very good for him to fly with a good weather supporting him. I was flying my old Dakota aeroplane over France back to England. So he was flying, the author was flying from France back to England. He belonged to England. I was dreaming of my holiday and looking forward to being with my family. I looked at my watch 1.30 in the morning. So he was thinking and dreaming of being back home and spending his time and holiday with his family back there in England. And as you look at the watch, it was already 1.30 in the morning. I should call Paris Control soon, I thought, as I looked down past the nose of the aeroplane. I saw the lights of a big city in front of me. I switched on the radio and said, Paris Control, Dakota DS-088 here. Can you hear me? I'm on my way to England. Over. So he was very happy that he was soon going to reach England. So he called the control room and informed them that I'm on my way to England. Over. The voice from the radio answered me immediately. DS-088, I can hear you. You ought to turn 12 degrees west now. DS-088, over. So suddenly there, from the control room again, he got a message that he had to turn 12 degrees west. I checked the map and the compass, switched over to my second and last field tank and turned the Dakota 12 degrees west towards England. So he was, he did with his flight as he was instructed from the control room. And I'll be in time for breakfast, I thought, a good big English breakfast. Everything was going well, it was an easy flight. Because he was so happy that in a short span of time, he will be reaching English, England and he will be having a big English breakfast with his family. And he was thinking of all these things. He was so happy and so excited because everything was good over there. He was, uh, it was a very fine weather day. And so he was happy to be back home. Paris was about 150 kilometers behind me when I saw the clouds, storm clouds. They were huge. They looked like black mountains standing in front of me across the sky. I knew I could not fly up and over them and I did not have enough fuel to fly around them to the north or south. But suddenly all his happiness were turned to darkness when he saw, when he was just he just took the flight and he moved around 150 kilometers from Paris. He saw the black clouds appearing in the sky and now he was in a dilemma. What he would do? There was very less fuel and he could not, he would not be able to complete the flight with only that fuel left in the aeroplane. So it was a very difficult time. Suddenly his happiness was turned into sorrow. I ought to go back to Paris, I told, but I wanted to get home. I wanted a breakfast. If he fly to England, the fuel will not support him. So he thought better to go back to Paris again. So, but what about breakfast that he was dreaming of? What he would do with that? Now he has to think about it. But, so he decided that he would take the risk because he wanted to go and meet his family so much. He was missing his English breakfast so much that then he, he decided to take the risk. Instead of going back to Paris, he wanted to go back to England. I told and flew the old Dakota straight into the storm. So what he did, he flew the Dakota, his aeroplane, into the storm. He decided to take the risk to come what may. Inside the clouds, everything was suddenly black. It was impossible to see anything outside the aeroplane. The old aeroplane jumped and twisted in the air. I looked at the compass. I couldn't believe my eyes. The compass was turning round and round and round. It was dead. It would not work. The other instruments were suddenly dead. I tried the radio. Suddenly everything went wrong. Though he decided to take the risk now, he, he, he sees that everything is not turning in his favor. 
suddenly the clouds are dark, suddenly his compasses become dark, and everything is working against him. He tried to contact the Paris control, control room. Paris control, part Paris control, can you hear me? There was no answer. The radio was dead too. And he lost contact with the control room. I had no radio, no compass, and I could not see where I was. I was lost in the storm. He was lost in the storm up there in the sky. And I got then in the black clouds, quite near me, I saw another airplane. But suddenly what we see, he saw an airplane which was approaching him suddenly in the dark. He could not believe his eyes. It had no light on its wings, but I could see it flying next to me through the storm. I could see the pilot's face turn towards me. I was very glad to see another person. He lifted one hand and waved. Follow me, he was saying. Follow me. He knows that I'm lost. I told him he's trying to help me. So suddenly, out of nowhere, one aeroplane came and the pilot of the aeroplane uh, uh, telling him to follow him. So he was lost. He did not understand what was happening to him. Suddenly, in such a problem, one fellow has come and try, is trying to help him. Because he knew that he was lost, he has already lost control over the uh, control, uh, control room. He turned his aeroplane slowly to the north in front of my Dakota so that it would be easier for me to follow him. I was very happy to go behind a strange aeroplane like an obedient child and what to do. Now he has nothing else to do, his compass is there, he has a shortage of fuel and what he can do? He can only follow the instructions of the pilot who is seated in the other aeroplane which is near me. After ha half an hour the strange black aeroplane was still there in front of me in the clouds. After half an hour also that aeroplane was still there in front of the cloud, in front of him in the clouds. Now there was only enough fuel in all the photos last thing to fly for 5 or 10 minutes and in his aeroplane only fuel or very less fuel was there. It could only make him fly for another 5 or 10 minutes only. I was starting to feel frightened again but then he started to go down and I followed through the storm. And so, but he was so scared because he was having so less fuel to fly but the pilot in the other aeroplane instructed him to go down and he went along with him through the storm. Now you remember the storm was very heavy one. Suddenly I came out of the clouds and saw two long straight lines of light in front of me. It was a runaway and I was suddenly he saw himself landing in the runaway. So it, the, the, the aeroplane was ready for landing. It was a runaway at the airport. I was safe. I turned to look for my friend in the black aeroplane. But the sky was empty. There was nothing here. So suddenly he landed. And when he turned to thank the other fellow, the other fellow in the aeroplane, but he could not see him. He, he suddenly vanished. The black aeroplane was gone. I could not see it anywhere. It was not there anymore. Where did the aeroplane go? Now he is surprised. Which, because of whom, he was able to land safely. Where did the pilot go? Where did the black aeroplane go? Now he, could not, he cannot understand actually what had happened. I landed and was not sorry to walk away from the old Jakarta near the control tower. I went and asked the woman in the control center where I was and who the other pilot was. I wanted to say thank you. She looked at me very strangely and then laughed. Okay, so he went to the control room and asked the, the lady over there, telling that where is the other person who was flying, the black aeroplane. I wanted to meet him. I wanted to say him thank you. But when he told these words to the lady, she was very surprised. And she says, what aeroplane are you talking about? Which pilot are you talking about? I'm not understanding. Another aeroplane? Are you gone? Are you lost? Another aeroplane up there in the storm? Who will fly in the storm? You were the only person flying. No other aeroplane will fly tonight. Yours was the only one I could see on the radar. On the radar, only one aeroplane was flying, and it was you because you took the risk of flying back home. So, who helped me to arrive there safely? without a compass or a radio, and without any more fuel in my tanks? Who was the pilot in the strange black aeroplane, flying in the storm without lights? So that was a big question mark and a mystery. Who helped him? Actually, who was the, aero who was the pilot flying the aeroplane? Who helped him? It's still a mystery. Maybe it was some angel or a miracle which happened to him 
which he was beyond his understanding. And this is the, uh, in this way, he escaped from the storm that particular night. He, he could reach home safely. And he, though he wanted to thank the other pilot, he could not find him anymore.